Hey everyone, welcome to part 7 of our gameplay. Uh, for those who are coming in again, it's great to see you again. Nice. Hello. How are you? Uh, but at the time I'm recording this, it's currently January 15th, which means the premiere for the update day, so I got a chance to rewatch it. And uh, by the time this is coming out, that means the new episode is coming out the day after, so... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, next video I'll, I'll talk about, I'm probably just going to make some stuff up to make it seem like I watched it, but... You know... By then, I'll, I'll watch it, you know. I'm, I know I'm going to be like a week behind in this just because of the time I'm recording, but regardless, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, we're just going to get right back into it. So, uh, what do people think of that episode, huh? Good stuff, right? <laughs> I'm sorry if sometimes I'm going to sound like I'm kind of late on stuff. It's mainly just because, like, I'm kind of... One, huh? Uh, recording yeah. over this now. Not one of our finest moments. So, we made yeah. it out. We're seeing how things yeah. are going. All right, great. We got some gear. Great stuff. Great stuff. All right, we're gonna see if we can grab anything and. You know, we're, we're still going to save up for Shivmaster. You know, Shivmaster is pretty good, so we're, we'll save up for it for now. Hey, look at that. Yep, what I tell you, huh? Let's find a way around to it. But yeah, I mean, like, I recorded this, right? And basically, I tried doing this noise gate thing, but more than half the things I said basically got cut out, so... I was like, damn, well, what do I do now? So, you know, spending a good hour of my life just narrating now. But it's worth it. It's worth it. Oh, they got that New York rat right there. Great stuff. And got kerosene. And what else? All right. All right. We're going to a good start. And toolbox. You know, I'm pretty sure I've missed this toolbox in all my gameplays. I mean, at least that's what I think. I don't really have any memory of me like really getting I that. Did. Can't even imagine it. Yeah, I'll see what else we can find. Uh, oh, pills. That's good. I know this part of the map is like somewhat big I'd say just because like exploration wise I wouldn't really know where to go I feel like there's too many places to pick at you know it's kind of it's kind of easy to miss things my memory's pretty hazy but I remember living in a neighborhood just like this what do you remember uh barbecues parents they would throw these crazy big barbecues and invite a ton of people you know, I remember the smell more than anything. Weird. So this house is anything. And they're trespassing. We'll shoot on sight. We'll shoot on sight. Lots of friendly people lived here. First few months after the outbreak, they had a lot of looting. Everyone got paranoid. You remember any of that, Joel? Yeah, everyone barricaded themselves in their homes. And supplies started running low. That's when you saw what people are really capable of. some dogs they're really going at it though and work bitch all right perfect this? Oh, this is an ice cream truck an ice cream truck yeah Henry told me about these they sell ice cream out of the truck what no way Joel that's true this thing would drive around and play real loud creepy music and kids would come running out to buy ice cream you're totally fucking with me mm -mm, serious <laughs> Man, you 
lives in a strange time. <laughs> Told you so. Hands down, the Spider-Man ice creams and the SpongeBob ones were the best ones for me. I, me personally, I always went for the, for the Spider-Man ones because I really love those ones. But I'm always, I mainly just kind of stuck with popsicles. I never really ate that many ice cream in general. I mean, work. like if I would eat vanilla or strawberry stuff like that, I wouldn't really eat it. Uh, cookies and cream, I'd say, is an exception. But most of the times nowadays, I just kind of get milkshakes from them. I don't know. I, I just kind of prefer those, but yeah, I don't know. It's just become a it's become a habit for me. As for the shotgun, capacity is probably gonna do best for me, honestly. There's a list of things I could do with these, but I don't know. At least we have a good amount for now, so I'll just try to make it work best to whatever I can at the moment. If anything, I really do want to fully upgrade a weapon at one point. Because I'm not sure if I actually managed to do that or not, but... Having that done would actually be pretty handy. Like, I really want to get the shotgun, like, fully upgraded, but... We'll get there eventually, hopefully. Other than that... Oh, I don't know. This week's been pretty mellow, I'd say. Or at least it's about to be mellow. I'm not sure. <laughs> Talking to my future self. Future me. Yeah. In like five days. Four or five days. I don't know. Something around that. But yeah, with this shorty, capacity would be really helpful. And also, the fire would be helpful too, just because, like, I mean, then again, it's like, I'm not really in a desperate mood to like change it though just because like i managed fine with that but it definitely wouldn't hurt you're not gonna go with capacity for this one Yeah, I think capacity is honestly better just because, you know, since we're already so limited on supplies, it's better if I can just get as many as I can while I'm at it and then not worry about, you know, how much ammo I have. And I think that might be it for it with this gun for now. Well, with all guns in general, honestly, like I'm all out of gears. I'm doing nicely. I gotta make myself like a mini wish list for myself. My birthday's coming up, and I don't know. It's gonna be weird for me, cause like I'm turning 20 and I'm finally leaving, I guess, being a teenager. And I even forget that I'm a teenager right now, so I don't know. I feel like once I actually get there, it's just really going to mess with my brain a lot. But then again, I say this about every single birthday year I have, you know, it's like, you turn one age, you want to stay that age forever, and then you turn the next age, you get comfortable with it, then you want to stay that age forever, and just the cycle just goes over and over again for me. Alright, let's see what we got. Kara, you're the adult while I'm gone. Take care of your brother. He's looking forward he's looking to you for protection now. I won't be gone for more than a few days to gather food and supplies. If for some reason I return after a week, take your brother and head to the Pittsburgh quarantine zone. Don't open the door to anyone but me. Save your bullets. If you have to leave, stay low and move quickly. Use your size to your advantage. I'll see you soon. Wow. Dad. Hopefully, uh, Kara, Kara made it out alive. I don't know how the proper way to pronounce it because I know like two. I I knew I knew like two Kara's Kara's and they were both pronounced differently. So. I don't know. I guess teach their own, right? Yeah, Porsche's empty though. With the deck. You alright? Yeah. Sailing's falling apart. Get me up there. Hey, watch yourself. Right, let's see what you got, Holly. <laughs> Huh. 
Found anything? Here you go. Thank you. Oh, great. Melee weapons. That's perfect. Passing by, Henry. All right. So since we got some more gear, I think we can probably upgrade some more for now. It's not that much, but I mean, we'll we'll do what we can, right? Let's do this. I guess having the reload speed could be helpful just because, you know, that one time where I died from, uh, well, three of them, three stalkers. I don't really want to repeat that same mistake again, so. I'd rather just not go through with it. That was so unfair, though, like, three stalkers at once, ugh. It's like, what do you guys think is, like, scarier, though? Like, I almost said creepers. Uh, clickers or stalkers? Like, for me... I think stalkers were uh, a little bit more scary for me in the second game when I played part two, just because like when I played the last of us part two, it was like a little bit after I finished uh, last of us part one. So, you know, I completely forgot about stalkers. So when I encountered them again, I was like pretty nervous about it, uh, mainly just because the whole room was like really quiet. But uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm looking at my gameplay or not. And then I seriously just missed that medicine bottle. Oh my god, it was like right there and I completely missed it. I, what? Oh my god. That's so unfair. Alright. One open door. That's all it took. One us forgot to close the door and a horde of the monsters entered our camp. We shut them in there and wrote a warning on the outside. Susan and a couple of the kids are with me as far as I know we're the only survivors. I had to... I had to hold Susan so she wanted to run back in there, go back for the buddies. It just was too dangerous to lost your children. I have no clue what to say to her. Every part of my uh, being just wants to give up. It'd be so easy to surrender. I can't do that. I have to do much of any community. I keep seeing so much I can't good. We can't make it. I have to be strong for her. Ish. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm like rushing right now. I don't know when I'm going to stop reading this. I have no mark. At all. Man, poor Ish. It's always, uh... Oh, man. Oh, wait, safe. All right. You know what we're going to do now, so. We're going to do a repeat of this again. And there we go. Honestly, I might just stop looking for the codes for these just because I feel a lot more comfortable just uh, doing it by ear. But yeah, I don't know. It's like a cool little skill to have. I really like it now. And since we got more gear, we can just go and get some more stuff again. <sighs> Time to go to work. I think reload speed would probably be best, but I don't know. We'll see. If anything, with the revolver, I, I think I might have enough to fully upgrade it. Maybe? Or actually, well, no, I don't, but we're close. We're getting there. But I definitely think I'm going to be using my revolver a lot more. At least compared to my rifle, but yeah. Oh, 
do. It sure will. I think I might start distancing uh, my uploads. Uh, just because, like, I just need a... I don't know. I don't want to overwork myself a bit, but it'd be nice to kind of space them out. Just so, uh, you know, as the show's still getting more hype and everything. It'd just be pretty awful. Fireflies were here. Yeah, by the looks of it. How are we going to find them? I know a guy. A brother, actually. He, he was a firefly. Last I heard, he was in Wyoming. We get there, we find him, we find the fireflies. What do you say, you in? <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, man. Hey, Henry. Yeah? What about the others? What do you mean? Oh, if we made it, there's a good chance someone else made it too, right? Yes, yeah. There's a good chance. Oh, shit. Oh, get out! <laughs> Fucking sniper. Did you see where it came from? Somewhere down the street. Right now. Y'all stay here. Before you start, I need you guys to keep him busy. I'm gonna go around and see if I can't get the angle on him. Okay. Be careful. All right, we're gonna. Damn it, Ellie. Okay, we're gonna try to get this thing done then. And I'm almost positive I can't snipe him down from here either. I'm pretty sure it's impossible. I'm pretty sure it's actually impossible to do that. I've tried before and it's just bullets. Seems clear. Oh, shit. Okay. something else. No?
doubt there could be much of that house. I don't really think I'm gonna find much supplies. How is that not a headshot? Alright, we got it, we got it. There we go. But now we're out of bullets. That's wonderful. And we still got, what, three people left? <laughs> we'll manage somehow, though. Do this, but let's just book it. I'm just gonna book it here. I think that might just be the better option because I don't think my bolt's gonna go through here either. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Shit. If we got any ammo from the other guys, hopefully they do. Hopefully. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, I think that's place a dead end. So I'm gonna find some supplies to make some more med kits. But I think I'm not gonna get anything over here. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. What does that to make do? Start for us. For me. Okay, that's two shots in the floor. Oh, not there, maybe it does. What? <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't see him. But I will this time.
shoot. even do anything. We were so close. Come on. No, no. I'm so sorry, Henry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, dude. I'm not gonna fuck up this time. Look at this. Oh, all right. We did it. We should move. All right. Sam! I'm doing dog shit. Alright, I'm sorry guys. Just bear with me. I'm so sorry. Two Harleys and drive cross country. Oh man. 
I could die happy if I could just ride one around the block. <laughs> what was it like? It was good. It was real good. Good? C can you believe this guy? Come on, man, give me details. Describe it. <laughs> you know what? You two deserve a little privacy. No, no, Ellie, Ellie. This isn't just any regular motorcycle, okay? You get on that bad boy, you feel that engine? Nothing like it. Oh, yeah, how would you know? Seen it in my dream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think anyone from my group is gonna show up. Yeah. Worst part about it all, explaining to Sam. Well, it's safe to say those two have officially bonded. What are you doing? Taking stock of all the food we found today. I see. And how are we doing on canned peaches? Did Henry send you? No. Why would Henry send me? To make sure I'm not fucking up somehow. I'd say we all did pretty good back there. Especially you. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. Well, have a good night. How is it that you're never scared? Who says that I'm not? What are you scared of? Well, let's see. Scorpions are pretty creepy. Uh, being by myself. I'm scared of ending up alone. What about you? Those things out there. What if the people are still inside? What if they're trapped in there without any control of their body? I'm scared of that happening to me. Okay. First of all, we're a team now. Okay, we're gonna help each other out. And second, they might still look like people, but that person is not in there anymore. Henry says that they've moved on, that they're with their families, like in heaven. Do you think that's true? I go back and forth. I mean, I'd like to believe it. But you don't. I guess not. Yeah, me neither. Oh, all the serious talk, I almost forgot. There. If he doesn't know about it, he can't take it away. All right, I'm pooped. I'll see you tomorrow. That smells good. Good morning. Where's Sam? I let him sleep in for once. Oh. Well, if you want him to join us, you can go wake his ass up. Okay. Sam? <laughs> Sam! What the hell? Shit, he's turning! 
That's my fucking brother. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> Shit. Really? Yeah, you're all right. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Sam. Oh no. Sam. Henry. Henry, <gasps> stay there. Henry. Oh, what have you done? I'm gonna get that gun from me, okay? Oh, okay, okay, easy. This is your fault. This is nobody's fault, Henry. It's all your fault. Henry. Henry, no. Oh my God. Sino always kills me. It's like I feel so much sadness for Henry and Sam. It's just. It's always hard for me to get past it. Especially because I don't know when you ever think about like what's going on with Henry's mind at that moment. It's just. Jackson County. There's only so much. Means we're close to Jackson City, right? Shouldn't be more than a few miles. You ready to see dear old brother? I'm just ready to get there. You nervous? I don't know what I'm feeling. It's because like with Henry, man, it's just you dedicate your life to just making sure you can take care of your brother to your best ability and then having to be the one to put him out. And you just in the last thing in your head, you're just thinking that you just failed him. It's it's heartbreaking. It's it's really, really heartbreaking. And like I can understand it because like I have a brother myself, so you know, I have a little brother, so it feels like, you know, you just have like this big need to just be so protective over them. And the moment something like that happens, you just you just never forgive yourself, you know? What happened between you two? What do you mean? You and Tommy. You're not together, so clearly something went down. We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Ah, oh, here we go. So what was it about? Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. And that's why you joined the Fireflies. <laughs> yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it the last time you saw him? I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. Jeez. But he's gonna help us? I suppose we're gonna find out. Well, if they're without his help, we'll get there. Let's just keep going. But yeah. I don't know, just... just I'm just thinking about like when Henry kind of fell in during those last moments. Just anger, sadness, grief, frustration. The whole five stages of grief, just a, just a matter of a few seconds. It's, I don't know, it's, it's some pretty hard stuff. And to top it off, we're going to have to see them in the show, you know? Unless they change it, because, you know, I know some things are being changed from the show, but uh, the show is still pretty close to its source material, so I don't really think they would, they would but I just know that it's going to be a heartbreaking scene for those, like, who haven't played the game at all or just don't know in general you know it's just because you know i mean unless they they change something like that which i really don't think they would i really doubt that um they would switch out like a character that or completely prevent it it just seems unusual right there's a hydroelectric power plant it uh it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity how does it do that Look, I know what it is. I don't know how it does it. All right. How are we getting across? I don't know. Because I feel like with deaths like these, at least in the game, it's kind of like a, just a constant reminder that not everything is going to go the way we want it to go. That some people have their time up, and that's... Uh, well, it just happens. You just really don't know. It's like trying to survive in a in a post uh, in a post apocalyptic world is always is always strange. Some people they they decide, 
hey, this isn't worth it. What's the point? And then other people are just like, we'll just keep on surviving, you know? I mean, it's different for everyone. So people just try to live with it or try to adapt with it. And uh, I don't know, everyone has their own way. But I mean, me personally, when it came to zombie apocalypse, like if I was in one, I wouldn't even know what to do either. I feel like I'd just be just as lost or confused as everyone else. Oh yeah. Like if it, if everyone, I mean everyone was infected, like kind of like in The Walking Dead, then you know, then there I'd be like, well, I feel completely hopeless. But in a world like The Last of Us, where you know not everyone is already, not everyone is infected, and uh, you know you can infect through bites, then there might be a chance. But then again, like the the loss of the zombies are like kind of hardcore. You know, having runners and clickers and bloaters it's uh it's something you know but uh yeah i mean i don't know like i feel like there's different degrees when it comes to different kind of zombie types and seeing like which one's kind of like the scariest or which one's kind of like the worst like i for me personally i feel like the worst because the zombies are definitely the fast ones for sure like, if you think about Train to Busan, right? Train to Busan had, like, fast zombies. They turned really fast. And uh, they were just vicious. Strong, vicious. But definitely had their weaknesses, like, becoming blind at night. And stuff like that. Small spoiler for people that don't know that, but... It doesn't kill the movie. But that or something like the World War Z zombies, where those ones took only six seconds to turn. And could create like massive hordes okay i don't know why ellie's not getting on but the ones where they can just create massive hordes like i don't know if you guys ever seen the movie before or at least in the trailers you know they they made like this huge horde where they're able to like kind of climb over a wall like it's intense like i think world war zombies world war z zombies would just be like that's it that's over you know that's that's like point blank over i really don't think there's more <laughs> coming back more than that yeah, with the last of the zombies, I mean, you got runners too, and you got different types, but I feel like it's a little bit more manageable. Uh, but I mean, so far, because everyone here is like they they're strong, they're doing a lot better compared to the other movies where I've seen where they're all just kind of like freaking out. But uh, yeah, like the most recent thing I I watched was Black Summer. I watched like the first season of Black Summer because uh, I don't know, I was looking for something to watch. I wanted to watch something zombie related, and that came up so. It's a pretty entertaining show because, like, the show, you know, unlike The Walking Dead, it doesn't really focus too much on, like, the, like, the emotional attachment of characters, okay, rather just the thing. action, oh, you know, they, they're kind of just straight to the point when it comes to a lot of these things, like, there isn't really any time for remorse or Same empathy more. or anything. Okay. High five. But, yeah, uh, some people are in the, in the zombie apocalypse, some people are empathetic, <laughs> I'd be more empathetic, and some people are just straight ruthless and uh yeah i don't know it, it, it's just a whole different thing for everyone that's too small of a grave i forgot to leave that stupid robot on his grave what should i do with it i mean what i want to talk about it no why not how many times do we need to go over this things happen and we move on it's just that's enough you're right I'm sorry. And then another thing about the zombie apocalypse is that <laughs> trying to live through one and you lose people like this. <sighs> I couldn't even bear to imagine it, man. I don't know. People who get pregnant during the zombie apocalypse are always like crazy to me because it's just like, why would you want to raise a child in this post apocalyptic world? Like, I know that's a big discussion I see with people sometimes, but. I mean, the more you think about it, it's just like, why? You know, why? You know, you see all this madness going on, and you're just like, hey, let me, let me have a baby with all these zombies in here. You know, it's, so it's just kind I of know crazy. I am too. All right, next squirrel I see, I'm totally shooting it. Get past this place, then we can scrounge up some food. Well, if I starve, you're responsible. Like technically, Ellie is a, I won't, I want to call her a pandemic baby, but you know, she's like a, a, a post outbreak baby, so she was born after the outbreak, so. I guess it's doable for sure, raising a family while there's zombie apocalypse, but it's just, uh, 
Extremely dangerous. Super dangerous. But, uh... uh yeah, yeah. Uh, ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant. Oh, great. You got... Pretty sure I missed this one on my last playthrough. But, hey, we got a gun now. El Diablo. The devil, for those who don't know. I speak a little bit of Spanish. That's a lie. I speak a lot of Spanish. Yo puedo hablar español. Alright. Gotta know where I'm Wyoming. 244 miles. 244.05 miles, actually. Alright, Ellie's blocking my way. And, uh... Moving on forward. Uh, I don't think I can hop that. Is that Ellie whistling? Oh, no, I think it's going crazy. Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Hey, please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? Know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. <laughs> How you doing, baby brother? Goddamn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You're fucking old. Easy. It won't happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all got to get wrangled up at some point. Oh. Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh, that's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Starving. False alarm! They're friendlies. We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot. I mean, honestly, living in a place hey, like this would be too bad. At least Sorry, I'll be right back. Apocalypse. Can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you cut his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone. He gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. You know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. It's just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right. Look, take it easy. I thought I could have crawled under there. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? <sighs> I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. Put some food in you. Joel. Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year, I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone. Most of it.
here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. Where's Sarah? I'm good. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah. Okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. I feel so bad for John, man. Just imagine losing your daughter on your birthday. That's just that's some really hard stuff. I can imagine how how he just grieves with it. Cause Joel plays like this big tough persona, but that dude's been through so much shit. I had a neighbor uh, a few years ago who passed away, and uh, it happened to be on uh, his wife's birthday, and it was really, really sad. Uh, my neighbor, he had like heart surgery at the time, and he was told by doctors to not do any heavy labor, any heavy labor in general, just because, you know, you just had heart surgery, you don't want to ask you know go to cardiac arrest or anything like that you know you want to risk that possibility but uh he decided to just help out doing a chore for one of our other neighbors just mowing a lawn or something like that because uh, you know he was basically like the neighborhood guy you know he would just help out with everything you know we all we all relied on him for that stuff and he was great but you know one thing that's another and uh he ended up going to cardiac arrest there and uh, fortunately passed away. And it, it was a shame just because, you know, it was his wife's birthday that day and they were going to go out to eat dinner later that night. And it, it was just really depressing, you know, just seeing how just one person you know can just die like that in a split second. And you, it just happens, know you know. You heard, it, you see the town. It's kind of like it's kind of like a wake-up call for me, I guess. Just, to just uh, I don't know, kind of live life as it is right now. Sorry, I'm coming out with like deep personal stories right now, but what do you do for protection? I mean, I, this game just kind of makes me think a bit when it comes to that stuff, you know, just because like. Still gotta deal with infected, the world's right? a really cruel place, and uh, sometimes we just have to make way with the way it is, whether we like it or not. <laughs> you sound like but um, I don't know. Hey, buddy, that's Buckley. Not much of a guard dog. Maybe good to have him around. <laughs> that's a good boy. Buckley's great. I follow this Twitter account called. Uh, can you pet the dog? I believe that's what it's called, where basically they list video games where you can pet the dog, and it's really great. So, you know, they'll have games like Elden Ring, Ghost of Tsushima, um, I guess The Last of Us isn't technically here, but they'll list any game where you can pet the dog, or at least a dog These two geniuses are related animal, like a dog, an animal similar to a dog. Even time. if it was a turtle or a wolf, they would be like, yeah, you can pet the dog, you, or you can pet the cat, etc. I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure. It's always great when uh, when ready. game devs allow to actually pet the dog. The That's no rush. It's like the need, you know. It's just the need you need to do when it comes to developing a game. Chemistry. Chemistry, like Walter White. Oh damn. Nah. Not really such a great show. Here we go. I uh. I got my girlfriend hooked onto Breaking Bad um, last year, and uh, you know it was on my watch list for so long, and I like started watching everything that, and I got so hooked onto it. I finished it. I got my girlfriend hooked onto it. She loved it, and uh, it's it's just such a great show. You know, it's it's a really great show. You know, you got Walter White, Jesse, Gustavo Frin, uh, Saul Goodman, Jimmy McGill. Kid named Finger, I came back Mer Mermaid Trout, but yeah, and then I watched Better Call Saul afterwards, and it was, it, I loved it, they were both really great shows, and I know they're supposed to be coming up with a new series starting with Ray Seahorn, so we're looking forward to that, you know, just to see, like, what they'll do with it.
speaking of which, my girlfriend just sent me a photo of her Duolingo process. She is do just fine. ninety-five percent done with her words. Wow, that's that's Come great about. stuff. Great stuff. Watch it. Okay, that's good. Lower it slowly. Good. I gotta learn how to power electricity go. through water, man. One. Like, if I get second apocalypse, okay, uh -uh. Good to go. Ready? Go ahead. Hit it. Here we go. Oh, God damn. We did it, boys. Nice work, boys. Somebody get on the horn and give Maria the good news. You see that? Pretty impressive. Looks like you're out two million bucks. <laughs> All right, Joe. Let's go talk. It's quite the crew you got here. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Gives us all a second chance. Why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. <laughs> it's got everything to do with that little girl. Well, go on then. She's immune. Immune to what? I've oh, come her, on. I know I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men. And nothing. Now, I wouldn't have believed it neither. But I can show you. All right. I'll bite. Why bring her here? I'm supposed to deliver to the Fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys. You finish the job, you collect the whole damn painting. I haven't seen a Firefly in years. You know where they are. Now, I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me. Tommy, this is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They but got I... families, too. Tommy, I need this. You want some gear? Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me. It wasn't worth it. I bring you the cure from mankind, and you want to play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. You still remember how to kill, right? Stop him! Don't let him into the building! Keep an eye out! Hurry up! Serious? Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, all right. We're gonna run off this right now. All right. I guess I gotta get closer because from here, yeah, we're not getting anything, man.
I think it would be a great time for me to use that shotgun, but do I have it? No, I don't. However, maybe I can block their view. Thanks, guy. You almost got me killed right there. Shotgun. Right behind you. Uh, 
Over there. Joe, do your thing. Tommy, cover me. Tommy, cover me. And I'm probably dead. Watch my back. Hurry up. Oh, God damn it. You okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Joel! Oh, man. They were coming in from every direction, then Maria was like, we gotta run, and so we dove over these tables, and this huge guy blasted slow with a shotgun. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Listen, then... hey, hey, are you hurt? No. God damn it. I need to talk to you. Absolutely not. You tell him to go find somebody else. Maria, I can't have this hanging over my head. Do you have any idea how many men we lost here today? And what's that all about? Does that have anything to do with me? We'll talk about it later. Did he tell you where the lab is? We'll talk about it later. Later. Right. It takes one. One fuck up. One fuck up and then I turn into one of those widows, okay? I have to do this. I don't know what else to say. Fine. Maria. Here we go. You. If anything, anything at all happens to him, it's on you. She's thankful, you know. Yeah, I know. I'll take that girl of yours to the Fireflies. You don't have to worry about it. It's best this way. Well, maybe some real good will come of this. I need to talk to Ellie. Say again, I didn't hear you. Joe! What, what is it? That girl of yours. She took one of our horses and rode off. Damn it. Which way? Come on. I just saw her riding on out of here. Go back inside. Help the others clean the place up. Okay. Be careful out there. All right, and I think we're gonna end it off right here. Again, thanks everyone for coming in and watching by, and for those who are new, thanks again for stopping by. But um, yeah, I'll be uploading the next one soon, and uh, until then, I will see you guys. Bye.